What's going on riders? I'm back with a ride home review. I know that I took a week off. I was in Houston uh, working on an event and so I didn't get a chance to get away um, and do a review. But I'm um, back at it. Um, and so going into the part two of the summer. And tonight I watched uh, Sicario, Day of the Soldado. Um, as the sequel to the original Sicario, which stars Benicio del Toro, which stars, uh, or this movie stars Benicio del Toro, um, Josh Brolin, uh, Catherine Keener, um, with a cameo by Matthew Modine. Uh, and so this, and it, I cannot remember who the director is, is Simon, uh, I should have looked that up before I... It's not a director I heard of before, and so, um, but before I get into it, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, like me on Facebook, follow on Instagram, at Ride Home Reviews, um, where you can get all the reviews plus more. Um, uh, what I do, I, I'm the Anchor Channel, where I do more mostly TV reviews, and also the podcast. Um, you can download it on iTunes if you want to listen to it on the go. So, g getting into it, so, uh, Sicario, Day of the Soldado. This one um, uses the reprises the characters that um, Benicio del Toro and Josh Brolin played in the original Sicario, and uh, this one goes into the fact that the that the overarching theme of terrorism and trying to start something uh, with the cartels in Mexico, start a war by abducting one of the cartel's children. And so, um, going right into what I liked, uh, of course I like Josh Brolin and Benicio Del Toro, I'm big fans of theirs, and uh, they are chameleon-like in what they can provide on the screen, they do not disappoint in this one as well. I like the addition of Katherine Keener, another solid pro. Um, but the little, the only actress who played Isabel Reyes, the person who was abducted, the, um, was absolutely fabulous in this movie. She did a wonderful job. And um, yeah, and so it was just, she saw some things that most kids shouldn't see. Um, and she did a wonderful job at portraying how that affected her. And I really enjoyed the cinematography. Uh, it was really, really awesome. Um, they really sh showed the vastness of Mexico and, um, they really played a really, played a really good part in a lot of, uh, what was constructed. Um, and the music was really good. I felt the music really increased the tension, um, and so it was very solid. However, this movie did not live up to the first one at all. Um, it was a cliched story. It didn't go far into what it initially started with. It didn't do, it was just, it was predictable. Um, it just didn't have the intensity and the emotional um, aspects of the very first one. It didn't capture that at all. So it was really weak in that regard and I was a little disappointed and um, I won't see a sequel. They left it open but I, I was really disappointed with the way that this unfolded. I mean the action sequences were great. There was great scenes but piecemealed but the story just just didn't have just didn't have it. It just was not there and so it was very weak and um, below the quality of Del Toro and Brolin. And what to watch for? Not much. There wasn't anything that stuck out. Anything that was just, it was just blah. It was just a blah movie. So there you have it. Rating? Nah. You can pass. Uh, so subscribe on YouTube. Like on Facebook. Follow on Instagram. See you next week.